Good morning, namaste. It's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to pull some cards and share some guidance for this week ahead. That's this week starting Monday the 21st of March through till Sunday the 27th of March 2022. So welcome. I trust that you're uh, flowing well and that your month has been good and uh, that you're coping okay at this time. So while you're coming in, I want to send out an extra special welcome and thank you to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. Oh, we've got a visitor. You want to say hello to our friends? Here she is. This is Miss Puss. Oh, Miss Puss and I are here sitting in our garden. It's a bit cool, but it's still and beautiful. So we're coming to you live from Tasmania, Australia, where it is Monday the 21st of March here. Uh, the time is... 10:25 a.m. So welcome. If you're new to watching, let's pop you down now, Miss. There you go. If you're new to watching, welcome. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my uh, my decks of cards here that I've combined. There are two decks: Speed of Light Oracle cards and Animal Kingdom Oracle cards. 55 cards in each deck. So we have 110 cards here um, combined together and I'm going to use these cards to find the best cards for this week ahead for the majority of us. I'm not doing uh, readings for individuals or pulling cards for individuals today or pretty much ever in my videos. I'm here to create a space and connect with you and with us all as a collective if you like, as a group. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason. Um, I encourage you to take on board what feels right, what resonates with you and what fits into your life easily at this time and let the rest go. Uh, you will know if it makes sense because it will just feel like I'm speaking directly to you. So that's a confirmation. That's a confirmation. So if it feels like it's just you and me here, um, please listen to the guidance that, that really speaks to you. So, uh, I think that's all I need to say. So let's shuffle the cards and get ready to pull the cards for the week ahead. Uh, while I'm shuffling, let's just recap on last week's theme, which was risk-taking, which is about uh, new beginnings and lots of energy around that last week and lots of energy too, actually, around stepping out of our comfort zone, taking a risk and following our heart. So a quite strong push in that direction I noticed last week. So maybe you did too. But our attention now turns to the new week. So I'm shuffling the cards and I'm holding the intention that I want to find the best cards for this week starting Monday the 21st of March through till Sunday the 27th of March 2022. So I'm shuffling until I feel I need to stop and then... I will split the deck into two because that's the way I choose my cards and I'll lay them out face down beside me. So the best cards for this week ahead are these and I'm just going to lay them down here. Okay, we have two, four, six speed of light, oh, sorry, <laughs> six animal kingdom oracle cards and one speed of light. So let's turn them over and see what we've got. Okay, no theme card, so I can put my deck down. And we're just going to start at the beginning. So let's see how this resonates. At the start, Monday the 21st of March. We have the rabbit card 16 and the rabbit reminds us to or encourages us to make our move, make our move. So there is a feeling here that potentially on Monday and early in the week we're going to be ready or maybe even petrified but um, willing 
to take action, to make our move, to step out, to step into something, to step out of something. There is a feeling here with the rabbit too that it feels a bit petrified. It feels a bit paralyzed and a, a bit like a scaredy cat, we could say. It feels a bit paralyzed with fear. And um, I feel like we probably need to keep in mind or be a bit cautious of letting our fear stop us from making our move early this week. So even if we feel scared or fearful, let's acknowledge that. Maybe ask ourselves why do we feel that way? What are we afraid of? And um, summon our courage and let the courage become louder than the fear so that the courage um, helps push us through that fear and into that position of being ready and willing and maybe taking the steps to make our move. So there is energy moving here and we're getting ready to push through fear, maybe anxiety as well, to make our move. So that might make some sense to you at the beginning of the week. Then we move into Tuesday, the 22nd of March, and we have the Doe card 41. Things have actually shifted a lot since last week because we were getting lots of repetitive cards for the last few weeks. Um, and include that included last week and this week I'm looking at except for one card oh no maybe I had that card in my own reading but except for one card that I've seen lately these are all fairly new ones so this shows actually that we've transitioned through something last week so uh, Tuesday we have card 41 the doe and the doe says to feel deeply really pay attention to how we're feeling really listen to what we're feeling as well and how we're feeling in certain situations and scenarios so we can feel our way through feel our way through what it is that we're feeling so whether it's fear or feeling scared or anxious like I've already talked about if we're feeling feelings similar to that then we might want to try feeling our way through those because remember as I say quite often emotions want to be in motion so it's actually sort of against the natural rhythm of our emotions to become stagnant emotionally or to uh, feel blocked if you like or stuck um, emotionally it's not a natural state of emotions to be so what I found really helpful for me is to feel my way through things so this is why you'll see me candidly especially in our Facebook group candidly sharing what I'm currently feeling and I do that pretty much each day as a way of connecting in with what I currently feel bringing it to the surface by acknowledging it talking about it sharing it or even just acknowledging it for myself actually gets the energy moving so for example if at the moment you're feeling a bit scared and anxious about something that's coming up if you admit to yourself that you're scared and you're feeling anxious that will already get the energy moving so let's really listen to how we feel and let our feelings flow. Let's be in the, that motion of feeling so we don't get stuck and paralyzed in the fear, but we recognize the fear, let it move, summon our courage and keep going. So I hope and trust that makes a bit of sense. But feelings uh, want to move. So let's feel our way through things, especially early this week. And um, according to the dough here, let's also let ourselves feel deeply. Let's ask ourselves the questions. Why do I feel scared? Why do I feel this way? Uh, what am I afraid of? These types of questions we can ask to feel for the answers. And then ultimately we're getting that energy moving. So this is really important so we don't get stuck or stagnant uh, in that state of feeling. Okay, when we move to Wednesday, so Wednesday the 23rd of March, and we have the Wolf card 48. The wolf says to secure our boundaries, especially around Wednesday. So there might be um, some, I want to say like a, or actually this might not be the best word. Uh, I want to say like a violation or some type of intrusion or interruption to our state somehow around Wednesday. And we might find that we have to quickly um, secure our boundaries so there is a feeling like um, you know like in the banks I haven't never seen it happen but I imagine and have seen a few movies um, you know in banks where 
someone's coming in to rob a bank or something and um, the teller, the person working behind the counter will press a button and down drops that sort of uh, security screen. Well, that's what I'm feeling for Wednesday. And there might be a situation that arises, maybe out of nowhere, that we start feeling very um, fragile about or very vulnerable in. And we might have to quickly sort of press the button and drop down that protective shield and really look at... Um, in the long term or the days to follow, look at our boundaries and how healthy they are. Are they supporting us? And what do we need to reinforce about our uh, boundaries at this time? So Wednesday, there may be something that comes up that requires us to act quickly to secure our boundaries so we don't um, get taken advantage of or have our uh, space interrupted or violated somehow. They're not really quite the right words that I want to say but sort of that sort of energy around so where might we have to quickly press that button and get our protection and our boundaries secured on Wednesday and then we move to Thursday we're just going to go down day by day at this stage Thursday uh, the 24th of March is the uh, lion and the lion is card 11 and it says be balanced with your responsibilities. So this is making sure our responsibilities, our obligations and the things that we're doing with our time are nice and balanced this week and especially around Thursday. But at the moment it feels to be important. Uh, are we becoming too um, obsessed? <laughs> or there might be a better word for that too. But are we becoming too obsessed or too uh, having too much attention um, given to a certain a situation or part of our life that is consuming us a bit too much at the moment so we may have to back off that um, that energy that's consuming us and look at where we can balance our responsibilities to make sure it's not too lopsided um, there's also an element of this card that talks about the leader within us and we're being called to step up and become the leaders of our life not leading the way for others unless we have that calling, but especially and firstly is stepping up and leading the way for ourselves. So how can we um, take more responsibility? How can we step up to the challenges that we're dealing with at this time? How can we um, feel for or research solutions, potential solutions to our problems? Um, how can we slip further into our heart? How can we honour our body and what is important to us and our integrity and our truth and and that sort of thing may be may come up um, especially around Thursday but at the moment as we've been really called and in some ways tested to step up and lead the way for ourselves so another way of looking at this might be um, where have we been giving our power away who have we been giving our power away to and is this a healthy situation for us or is this draining us? Are we putting too much energy into uh, what we're giving our power away to? And can we claim our power back by put, calling it back, bringing it back, detaching from things that aren't healthy for us or just taking a break so that we can uh, really step into that role of a leader again for ourselves? Because we're the ones, hopefully, we're the ones in the driver's seat of our life. So if we find we've got someone else in the driver's seat steering our life where they want it to go or if our mind, our insecurities, our, <clears throat> our lower mind I mean or our fear or something like this is also in the driver's seat of our life and we're sitting in the back seat just sort of waiting back and seeing what happens and um, there might be a bit of a problem there. So it's almost like um, becoming aware of or sensitive to the idea that we're driving this vehicle on our life's path and who is in the driver's seat for you and asking ourselves and becoming aware of that sort of visual if that resonates to see if we are actually in the driver's seat of our life or if someone else or an insecure or wounded part of ourselves is steering and driving the way and how can we get them out of the driver's seat and step in and claim that position as the leader of our life. So that energy is quite strong too for Thursday. And then Friday, Friday the 25th of March, there is something warm about this energy too. Card 16, stepping in. 
and this feels very warm and inviting. It says solo commitment test. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm I just said test and chewed on my um, my teeth went down on my, the inside of my cheek. Uh, anyway, stepping in, and the keywords are solo commitment test allow and flow. So on Friday, some of us might find that there is some commitment that comes up or some opportunity to commit. Maybe we are or will have the chance to test the waters a bit to see if this is really what we want. But Friday feels like a great day to make a commitment, a commitment for our future. It could be a commitment to something. It could be quite a legal or... Um, a very physical commitment that we're making in our life, a contract maybe that we're signing or something like this, some sort of commitment. But it can also be very personal commitment, maybe breaking a habit or shifting away from an addiction, um, maybe um, stepping into something new and making a commitment to ourselves to try a new hobby or step into this new form of study or taking our skills to the next level. So it is a very personal commitment that we're potentially going to be making or considering on Friday. But it is an opportunity, especially if we've had some nasty habits or addictions that we've noticed or we've been talking about changing or moving away from. The energy is very supportive around Friday to uh, let our habit changing, our addiction changing, this commitment that we make to let it stick. Because sometimes it's difficult to have things stick. Um, so with the strength that we're building this week and this sense of connecting with how we feel and flowing with that is sort of setting us up for later in the week to um, have this supportive energy around uh, what we need to commit to now. Maybe we're committing to a new way of life. Maybe we're committing to a new way of looking after our body uh, with what we're eating uh, the exercise or movement it's doing. So there's a lot of things here that this could be relating to. But the important thing is, is that this commitment, this choice to commit to this new way of being or this change or whatever it is that we feel is has not been working for us. Has this habit or whatever it is been supporting us? Has it been working for us? And is it currently supporting us? Is it currently working for us? If it's not then we may find later this week that we've had enough or we're ready to take that plunge, we're ready to make a commitment and we're ready to take up the challenge of the commitment because it does feel like a challenge, doesn't it? Almost like a challenge set that we're setting ourselves. Can we overcome this? Can we commit to this new lifestyle? Can we, whatever the commitment might be. So it feels exciting and it feels very warm and inviting, which makes me feel like it's a very supportive energy uh, for, especially around Friday, but later in the week. It may even come into effect Thursday. It may, for some of you who are connecting with this on Sunday or Monday, your time, the first time you hear this, you may not want to wait till Friday. If you're feeling this and you're feeling the stirring of it, and just by talking about it and listening to it and thinking about it, you're, you decide, no, yes, I'm ready to make this commitment. Don't wait till Friday. There's almost a feeling by talking about this, we can wind it even further forward. And maybe Monday or, or even Tuesday early in the week, we could set ourselves up to, to uh, align with this commitment energy and prepare ourselves. Start from today. Start from tomorrow. So don't feel that you have to wait till Friday, but the energy is very favourable for that. But don't be surprised if you feel motivated to start it sooner. Okay, Saturday, the 26th of March. Card 14, the Emperor Moth. The Emperor Moth. And it says, put things into order. So there is a feeling around this card about putting things into order, about tying up loose ends. And this is especially, usually uh, connected with paperwork. So paperwork, things looming, um, these ends that we need to tie up or this stack of paperwork we've been meaning to get to, we might find it quite favourable to explore that and, and, and sort through, uh, especially around Saturday.
but there is this order that's coming into place and there is a feeling too that things are going to be really lining up this week and by the time we get to Saturday there is going to potentially be this lineup. It's a bit like um, what comes to mind visually is having a room that's got all these books scattered around the floor and this week we start organising these books and getting them into order. Uh, size order, alphabetical order, it doesn't matter <laughs> wherever uh, the order takes us. But it feels like this week we're going to be uh, getting things into order, picking up those books and getting them on the shelf and getting things sorted, getting things ordered, getting things organised in some ways um, so that we haven't got this loose end hovering over us. And the thing that may be interesting here too is that we're not preparing for the end. And this can be something a bit scary, this sort of inner feeling that we we might have with this sort of energy is this sadness like we're preparing for the end like we're finalizing things and we're preparing for the end somehow um, but actually it's important for us to remember that we're preparing for a new beginning and sometimes in fact often when we're preparing for a new beginning we need to get things tied up and we need to get things into order so let's not put off the paperwork that needs to be ordered. Let's not put off the cleaning that needs to be done or the organising that needs to happen so that we can uh, get things lined up, ready for the new beginning that is imminent. Um, so that's for Saturday. And then we move into Sunday and we've got card... Um, oh, this is Sunday the 27th. And we have the crocodile, card five. And the crocodile says, oh, this card came up for me in the card reading club the other day. I knew it came up recently and I was just trying to think where I've done so many readings lately. Uh, card five, crocodile, it says, stand in your survival power. So this is a reminder of our primal power, our primal instincts as well. Not only reminding us that we are a survivor and we have survived tough situations before, and if you're currently going through a tough situation now that you're going to survive again. So again, this preparing for a new beginning, this is not the end, surviving something that's a challenge. It seems to be a theme for next weekend. So we might have a bit of a panic that rises up where we might be scared that things are coming to an end, that this is over, this kind of feeling. Um, so this survival energy is coming in very strongly as we might question this, but we might also just feel this twang of uncomfortableness or even fear about things, our comfort zone changing. So that's a really normal thing to feel before we go through big changes. Uh, and the other element of this card is that power element, the strength that we have, the courage to push through that fear, to survive difficult situations, and to look at how we can turn that feeling of just surviving you know, when we're scraping to make ends meet, when we're struggling to get food on the table and we're struggling to survive financially, health-wise, roof over our head, relationships and various situations that test that, once or hopefully when we can get that sorted, how can we move out of survival mode and into that space of thriving? So this may be something that some of us have been thinking about lately and maybe thinking about over the weekend where we're sick and tired of just making ends meet and we're sick and tired of just surviving. That there has to be more to life than um, scraping together coins just to get some bread to have some food tonight or some milk for breakfast. It's, there's got to be more to life than this. So I feel that there's going to be some of us who feel like we're in survival mode and have been for a while, that we're fed up and maybe we're ready to make a new commitment to move out of that space so we can experience more freedom maybe, joy, more connection, more of an excitement about life. Because if we're just barely surviving, it's very hard to enjoy life because we're trying to eat and we're trying to keep a roof over our head and we're trying to keep our health stable and this sort of thing. So is there something we can do or is there something we can question or look at that may help us tip out of or move out of that survival mode and into something more substantial and more motivating for us? So I feel like this may be something that arises over the weekend that we potentially consider. And it may come up really from around Friday through to the weekend where we want more now. So the things that we're tired of, the things that we're fed up with and the things that we've had enough of, 
well, how can we use that feeling to motivate us to make some serious changes? So that's the energy for this week. It feels fairly serious, actually, especially these last sort of few days. So from around Thursday, Friday onwards, basically from as soon as we decide to make this commitment, I feel like things are going to get serious then. So um, it feels like a somewhat serious week, let's say. So I trust that resonates. Let's see what happens this week and then we'll know where things fit and how things fit for us. Please come back and connect with the recording throughout the week to get your bearings. I like to connect in on Wednesday or Thursday most weeks just to get my bearings of, of how the first part of the week's been, where I'm at and how the potential rest of the week might look. I'm going to pull the theme card in just a minute for the week. But before I do, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you would love to connect more privately, please don't hesitate to reach out through my website. You can send us an email. You can go to the contact form on my website at templeofbalance.com.au. So I don't have any events coming up in the near future. Um, the next art class and on uh, card reading club uh, is penciled in at the moment for the 15th of April. So I'll talk more about that in the next week or two. Uh, but you can learn more about me and the work I do at Temple of Balance. My card decks that I've made, my earrings, pendants I've got hiding under here um, and various other lots of things, ceramics like this guy here. Um, on my website at templeofbalance.com.au. So thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I'm looking for the best card for the theme. The theme card will help us bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture for this week ahead. So I'm shuffling the cards again and I'm asking the cards to show us what do we need to know, the majority of us, uh, for this week uh, as our theme from Monday the 21st to Sunday the 27th of March 2022. So what do we need to keep in mind this week if it resonates? The cat is curled up sleeping here in the dirt. She's covered in dirt because it's so dry here that everything's pretty much just dirt. So the best theme card is this oh we have a speed of light oracle card and it's this oh it's harmony well this is nice it's card 43 harmony and it says sound tuned in expression music and song so first of all this brings a highlight of the importance of music this week so music to help us feel our way through emotions that we're finding it difficult to describe, which I talked about for very early in the week. Using music to help us feel and, and flow with our feeling, if you like, especially early in the week. Using our music to connect as well. Music to help us relax. Music to energise. Music to support our healing. Maybe for you, if you're anything like me and play a musical instrument, then uh, playing music in a band or playing music, if you play a musical instrument, to help us connect, to help us switch off from other things in our life and just help us... Oh, what is the word for it? Um, maybe it's reconnect or just refuel, recharge ourselves. So music, very important this week. I would not be surprised if a lot of us are drawn to a particular song or a particular few songs that we keep hearing or that we keep coming back to because we're just obsessed with this song right now. And it does something to us. It stirs us. There's something about it that just feels appropriate and feels good. So I would not be surprised about that either this week. There is also, as far as musical instruments go with this card, is a tune-in, a tuned uh, uh, energy. So if you know anything about musical instruments that we might be playing, uh, you know, like uh, not handmade ones, but ones that are synchronized to um, tuning, when we are playing a sound on our instrument, we have like, well, I do with my brass instrument is a tuning slide. And if I play my tuning note and it's flat, then I adjust my tuning slide to get it into being in tune. 
If it's sharp, I adjust my tuning slide to get it into tune. So there is this feeling of you know, like a tuning fork or tuning a piano, tuning ourselves to notice if we're a bit flat or if we're a bit off or if we're a bit sharp or we're a bit off and how to get back into balance. Music may be the key that supports us this week. Music through song, music through listening, music through playing, whatever it might be, to help us stay in tune this week, in harmony. So let's notice if we're tipping off a little bit and step up and get back into balance. Music to help or whatever we do, step into nature, take a break, whatever it might be. Another element of this card is about expression and we may find that there are things that need to be said or expressed this week, um, things that come out that are being expressed to us. So this sense of communication expression is very strong too. But I feel like very strong about music and also very strong about keeping ourselves tuned or in spiritual sort of terms, I suppose that would be alignment. So when we're playing an instrument, we're getting that note in tune, which is an alignment with that tuning. When we're getting our body into tune, I would think that of an alignment. So think of alignment, think of center when I'm talking about being tuned in, being tuned up, being in tune, being in balance. So I trust that makes sense. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great rest of your day. Have a fantastic week ahead. I will probably pop in throughout the week um, sharing a support video, so keep an eye out for that. And if not, or even if I do, I'll be back next week for the weekly guidance. So take care and um, happy birthday, happy anniversary if you're celebrating, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, the wind's getting up. See ya.